So that's Runak. Hetakol's base of operations. That's right. I also managed to piece together more about her. One thing doesn't track. She moves like a Mando, fights like she's been trained by the best, but I couldn't find a clan affiliation. I'm certain she's one of us, but it's strange. Whatever she is, people follow her. Years back, she ran a small team of outcasts for a while. They became her inner circle. This group was responsible for several raids against both Republic and Imperial interests. She owes nothing to either side. In fact, looking at her targets and the chaos she left behind, it goes much deeper than gathering resources. She understands cruelty is a very effective weapon to remove resistance. Sometimes. Following Hedda has made it clear she has a plan and the will to see it through. What else did you learn? She's gone to great lengths to hide her location. False trails, dead contacts, and now runic. The planet is in the middle of some kind of electrostatic storm. Messes with communication and navigation. Prime location for a hideout. After the ambush on the Spirit of Vengeance, she's been busy building up her forces, applying pressure, and making the occasional threat to a number of clans. Rumors say her group is making a move soon. Do they have the resources to challenge you? I'm only certain she's a credible threat. We go in now, we might avoid a messy war. A Mandalore expects opposition. All Hedda had to do was name a time and a place, but her attack was a knife in the back. Now that I have a location, I need help getting close enough to see those blasted horns on her helmet. Make no mistake, she's mine when the time comes. Is that clear? If my choice is stopping her or your personal vendetta, I won't hesitate to end this. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Meet me in the hangar. My stealth craft should get us down to the planet without being spotted. But when the time is right, Hedekol will hear my challenge and see my blade. We're in position, Mandalore. And for the record, I'm not fond of this plan of yours. I hear you. But I won't risk her bolting if that storm can't hide our fleet. You could be walking into a trap. I'm counting on it. We aren't fools, Jakaya. We'll keep our eyes open. See that you do. Mandalore. Good hunting. Well, well, look who it is. I knew I should have packed my spaceship crashing pants. Ras Ordo. Right in the middle of all this, I see. You know me. Hate to disappoint. Load up, everyone. Take off in three. Time to sharpen our blades. go, Runic. Lots of rocks. Big mining venture a long time ago, but nothing since. Probably because of that. Wow. Sensors are not pleased. Lots of noise and false echoes. Take your positions. We're going in. The attack on the Spirit of Vengeance, now a base way out here. What changed? A lot of credits. Raids, Clan Harangir's old money coffers, stealing cartel drops, it all adds up. Hedda builds her army with real Mandalorians, but uses Darmanda Mercs as blaster fodder. They're perfect for her. No loyalty to anything. Some of them live up to the name, others are just happy to take the credits. Makes sense. I'm betting half their troops don't even know what Darmanda means.
Okay, we're close. I know they have a base down here, but I had to back off before I could pinpoint it. Hang on! Blast! That was a probe droid! Everyone good? We're fine. We need to track it down, fast. Wait, give me a sec. Okay, there. Take this data spike. The signal is a little weird, but it should get the droids working for us. Brass, I'm expecting some reinforcements, so keep an eye out. Understood. And for the record, I prefer watching a crash landing over being in a crash landing. Everybody stay off comms starting now. That storm's giving us some cover, but we don't know who's listening. This is the first time I've made it planet side. Not sure what to expect, so keep your eyes open. Of course. Come on, we need a better view of the area. That storm is cutting down visibility. Hedda picked her hideout well. damaged, but we can't chance it sending an alert. Data spike is online. The droid is sending an all-clear. Rass and his weird signal did it. I'm also getting locations for additional droids in the area. Let's track them down. Let's move on. One more left.
should be it. With the conditions out here, they must swap these out regularly. Let's see if we can find where they're coming from. There's a structure up ahead. You work for Heather Cole. Who? No, Darmanda hired us. Look, we came straight from orbit. No questions asked. Some kind of top secret thing, okay? We're here to check on some droids. Then you have no value. Hold on! Darmanda has another group of techs down here. They're setting up a relay station to cut through all the storm interference. All comms will go through there. That's worth something to you, right? What are you doing? Basque will kill us! Where's the relay station? You must be the smart one. Talk. I, I don't know. Not exactly. But here, take this. Maybe there's something that can help in there. So, what happens with me? You have outlived your usefulness. Wait, no! Killing unarmed civilians? I'm surprised it gives you pause. Let's just get this back to Ras. Have you found anything useful on that device, Ras? I did, despite a few interruptions. Reinforcements are here. Not surprised to see you here, Carvey. You've been instrumental in helping against Heta's forces. Hedda Cole owes a debt of honor. I would see it paid. A few more blasters to make sure we don't get eaten by some kind of rock monster. You said you found something. We'll talk later. Yes, some fancy slicing and a bit of math, and I've got a likely location for the relay station. I've gotta say, this would be easier if we used comms, even if they're glitchy. Silence is just slowing us down. We won't have to remain quiet for much longer. When the time is right, it'll be a firestorm. That relay station gives us an advantage on the ground and might put us on Hedda's trail. About that. Maybe let us handle the relay station? I've got an idea about that trail you're looking for. Go on. Well, the data from the device got me thinking about Hedda's base. You know where it is? Not exactly. Here, look at this. I added the relay station data to the patrol routes we got from the droids. See that? I mean, it's a lot to cover, but it's something. This is good. There are only a few places her base could be. We'll need to do this on foot. Wish I had my old hunting strill. Wait, you had a dog? A strill. Oh, they're the best! Ross. Right. Okay, yes. Second team will head to the relay tower, and you two will search for the base. Trudging through the wastes is pointless. We know where to aim our weapons from orbit now. No. Effective, maybe. But that would be seen as cowardice. I have to face her myself, or all this means nothing. My fleet will keep waiting for the right time to strike. Before you head out, take these. A little something I've been working on. Let's you listen in on the bad guys. Might be handy. I'll go prep. Give the signal when you're ready to move. A 
McCarvey. I knew you'd be a part of this hunt as soon as your name came up back on Odessan. I appreciate being asked to help in the hunt. I would not sit idly by while Hedekal started a civil war. Anything I should know? We cannot fail. Hedda wants to be Mandalore and her power grows. Her followers were once true Mandalorians, but they were weak and they fell. Hedda is no better than those she leads. She's no match for Shay. Agreed. But we waste time. You have a trail to follow and I have a relay station to find. Well, here we are again. Jakaya sends his regards. He said he likes knowing you've got Mandalore's back. I mean, I assume he meant my back too? Has he had any issues since being named Arbiter for the Mandalorians? Not really. I mean, he's very enthusiastic about telling everyone what to do. <laughs> I should have warned Mandalore about that. It's strange. I saw him lead people in battle, under fire, carrying wounded, all of it. But rarely sorting out some twisty political dispute. He's good at it. Well, of course he is. I'm just getting used to the different uniform, you know? What about you? Learn to play the grouty harmonic? Save the galaxy a few more times? I remain on guard. The galaxy requires constant vigilance. Right. Sure. I'm always on the lookout for galaxy trouble. Absolutely. Well, I'm just glad you're here to help Mandalore out. Learn anything else while we were gone? Not much. Comms are rough, but you knew that. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Another thing. We underestimated our enemy's forces. The number of ships we saw coming in was impressive. We stick to the mission, in and out. That may not be our choice. Hedda's forces can cover more space with more guns. There's only so many places to hide down there. We'll find a way. I believe you. I've seen you improvise. Reminds me. I've got more gear to pack if I'm gonna slice a relay station. Very well. Whatever mining company was here, they must have left in a hurry. And they left a lot for Hedda to scavenge. Signal amplifiers? Makes sense. Comms are a mess. Adjusting sound. Field Marshal wants a report on the probe droids. Dust must be making them touchy. This is a waste of time. Be patient. Clan Harongir has been very generous. Our place is assured when this war is over. Clan Harongir. I figured we'd see them around here. Like I said before, they're old money. Many clans got rich from plunder during the Mandalorian Wars generations ago. They want those days back and head as the answer. She sees the independence of that time as the purest form of honor. Problem is, mistaking greed for righteousness almost destroyed us. Let's move out.
We must be on the right track. See those signal amplifiers? The armor looks like Clan Barad. If you don't report in, I have to come out here. That makes your clan look incompetent. I answer to the field marshal, not you! Educate this new recruit, or it's on you. Clear? Yes, Rakan. I will bleed him and his sister. Rakan earned his glory and blood. Don't shame me again in front of him. Grab your gear. We're on watch for the landing area. They mentioned a landing area. Let's take a closer look. Rakan mean anything to you? No. Let's go. Got some signal amplifiers over there. You see them? See anything? Ships. Definitely the landing area well hidden, walled off. We're not getting in that way. I see some Virage troops. Movement. Darmanda patrol. You see our people on your way back? Nothing but blasted heat and animals. Something going on? Your techs didn't report in either. First of all, they don't report to Varad. Second, the comms are a mess. Don't worry about it. The field marshal wants that relay station up and running now. Patrol's done. I'm off the clock. You worthless Minog lovers. Grab your drug, people. We're checking on that relay station. A Varad patrol is headed right for our people. We break comm silence to warn them we risk jeopardizing this whole mission. They can handle themselves. You're right. Let's move out. Let's see if we can find a way into that landing area. Okay, I have spliced into the comms. That should make things easier. You seeing anything bad out there, Akavi? Nothing yet. All quiet. Akavi, look out! Get to cover! Watch your flanks! 
There's more coming! Time to even the odds! found a way in. A comm tower. Guards. Cargo reference 011 SOV2. These artifacts are tagged to be reviewed today. You think it's the field marshal's new recruit? We don't ask. What about the new ship acquisitions? Quality vessels. Mostly carriers and long-haul ships being repurposed for her fleet. More on the way. They're shot. We need to get in there and cut communications so her fleet can't be mobilized. We've been lucky so far.
Jedi. Padawan. My master was murdered. 
Condolences. Now put that thing down. No. I know you. Your picture was featured in my reports from Elom. It's Sahar, Padawan Sahar. Malgus slew your master, did he not? How do you... I know who you are. Stay back. Sahar, it's Rakan. Where are you? I need you to bring that holocron back to... Shay! Where's Hedekal? Tell Shay everything she needs to know. Now. I'm not saying anything. Don't test me, baby Jedi. Hedda has a lot to answer for. Do you wish to die, a Padawan? And she destroyed my tracker. We got nothing. Harchuk! It's only a matter of time before she sounds the alarm and brings an army back here. Come on. We need to ground the whole operation until we locate Hedda. You're one of the best hunters in the galaxy. We'll find her. I am the best. And yes, we will. I'm... I'll keep an eye out for more information on that holocron you're looking for. Let's move out. <laughs>